very much. Ms. Jenkins is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for holding this hearing, and thank you all to the panel for participating. I have a question for you, Ms. Miller. Um, the President's uh, 2013 budget proposal includes a proposal capping certain individuals' itemized deductions to 28 percent. Right. And the exclusion and deductions under the proposal include the exclusion or above-the-line deduction for pre-tax employee contributions to defined contribution plans and contributions to traditional IRAs. Given that the tax break for retirement savings is a deferral, not a mm -hmm. permanent write-off, wouldn't limiting the deduction, deduction on the front end uh, but not when the amount is distributed, <laughs> result in double taxation. And what are your thoughts on how the President's proposal uh, would affect retirement savings rates and also on small business owners' decision to set up or ma maintain retirement plans for their employees? I appreciate that, that question. Uh, I was very disappointed to see retirement savings included <laughs> in, that, in that proposal because you're right, it would be double taxation if you have someone who has, uh, because this is a deferral. So if you have someone who's at a, you know, 31 percent uh, marginal rate and you're giving them a 28 percent cap on that, then they're paying that, you know, 3 percent now, but when they pull it out, there's no special accounting, and I'm not saying there should be because that would be a wreck, <laughs> but uh, when you pull it out, they're paying taxes on it again. So it, it really literally is double taxation. and if you're being honest when you're talking to an employer, why, in the, why would they want to put themselves in that position? So I, I do think it would be harmful. And um, you know, anything that reduces a tax incentive for a small business owner, to me, uh, I, I believe will discourage coverage. Okay, thank you. And Mr. Sweetman, uh, your testimony mentions uh, that following the Bush administration's proposal uh, simplifying uh, this area. Many interested parties were concerned about the proposal resulting in fewer savings opportunities being available to small businesses, ca causing them to opt out of offering an employer-based savings vehicle. You also mentioned uh, that the 2005 budget proposal addressed some of those concerns. Can you just elaborate for us on what you heard during your proposal and what changes you made to the 05 budget? And if Congress were to move forward mm -hmm. on meaningful reforms, uh, what are some of the transition rules that you that you might advise us to keep in mind? Well, the two big things uh, that, that were uh, were problems. Was one um, in 2004, we had the um, LSA and the RSA uh, contribution amount at $7,500, uh, and uh, we reduced it to $5,000. And what we had heard from uh, some of the uh, uh, some some of the uh, uh, policy folks, particularly, <laughs> particularly ASPA uh, being one, was that. Uh, by having that high of a, a tax-favored savings amount, some smaller business people might say, well, you know what, I can put in uh, 7500 in my LSA, 7500 in my, uh, my RSA. I don't need, I, I've, I've sheltered everything. I don't need any further savings through a, an employer-provided plan. The, the other thing that we did was in our ERSA proposal, we, uh, we tried to simplify some of the non-discrimination rules. And one of the things that we did was we, we, we pulled out, we, we eliminated all of the various testing methodologies that, that, are, uh, that are currently available, uh, thinking that that was, uh, you know, that was simplification. Well, as I think Judy has said uh, before, uh, one person's simplification is, is another person's uh, Opportunity to, for, to 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 make various uh, changes and uh, uh, and so uh, so we listened to them and 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 we uh, what we did was we we just uh, reduced the uh, the general um, complexity of the the test. We didn't reduce some of the opportunities uh, that uh, that small businesses would have in order to uh, to create. More flexible, more flexible types of, of plans. Okay, thank you. I yield back. 